Hello, my name is Balaji Venkatraman. I am the Director of Product Management for HP's Infrastructure Monitoring Solutions, including Network, Storage, and Application Performance Management. What I want to talk to you today is our innovative product, Network Node Manager, that helps network operators manage the complex virtualized network infrastructure. Let me do a demo for you. What you're seeing here is Network Node Manager and the inventory report. So you're seeing a demo system with a hundred devices here, including VMware hosts. So let me quickly go here and select the ESS, ESX host here. And we see that there are a set of ESX hosts. Within that, what I want to do is to show you how Network Node Manager helps manage the physical and the virtual infrastructure of uh, a customer's environment. So clicking on, clicking on this, we see that this is an ESX server. It's a demo tenant, and this is a managed ESX server. Going here quickly, I want to show you the hosted nodes on this particular ESX server. And we see that there is a large number of hosted nodes, um, in particular 32 hosted nodes, including a Cisco CSR, Cloud Services Router, and a HP VSR uh, routers. So, if you want to understand how the Cisco CSR router is behaving, we can click here and look and see that this node is behaving um, in, in a normal manner. We can look at its fault and performance management characterization. And not only that, but more interestingly, look at new visualization paradigms on how we can look at the L2, L3 connectivity. So here is a new widget that we call the wheel. And let me uh, pop that up here. And what you are seeing here is that this is a Cisco CSR 1000 virtual uh, machine with three interfaces connected to the virtual switches here. And so if I click on this virtual switch, we see that this one virtual switch is connected to the three interfaces G1, G2, G3 on the Cisco uh, CSR and also uplink through the VM uh, NIC 0 and 2. So the interesting thing is that we can see not only how this particular virtual machine is running, but also all the other hosted nodes on this particular uh, ESX server. And so by clicking on this uh, clear filter, I can see that not only this one particular Cisco CSR router, but also the other virtual machines that are running on this particular ESX server. Now, there are many more virtual machines that could potentially be running on this particular ESX server, but these are the ones that are currently running and powered on. So if the network operator wants to look at all the virtual machines that are running on this particular ESX server, then by clicking on this particular icon here, you can see all these uh, virtual machines and their connectivity uh, into the virtual switches and the uplink. So what we are showing here is the ability to quickly identify where a particular virtual machine is running, what are its layer two, layer three connectivity, and do so in a very scalable manner. And so this is one way of helping our network operators give more visibility into the virtual infrastructure that is running in the environment. Another way to look at it is also the L2, L3 connectivity of this particular device. And so by, by looking at, for example, the, the loom diagram here, we can see that there is a virtual machine and all the virtual um, machines that are running connected to the virtual switch on this particular ESX host. Okay. So it's not just looking at the virtual machine for their fault and performance characteristics, but we can also look at the configuration and compliance management capability of these devices. So what I want to show you here is the ability to manage the configuration and compliance management of the physical and virtual infrastructure in a single system. So while earlier we saw the Cisco CSR router 
uh, a virtual instance of the Cisco CSR router running on an ESX server and looked at the fault, the performance, and also the connectivity. We can also look at the configuration of that particular uh, virtual uh, switch by clicking on the node configuration tab and this information is collected by network automation and populated into the analysis pane of the network node manager tab. Not only can we look at the as running configuration of this particular device, but we can also see an history of all the configuration changes that are running uh, on this particular device. And to do so, we just click on compare to the previous configuration and up we show you the prior configuration and the newer configuration or the current configuration. And what we see here is that uh, the operator has added a set of access control list to this particular virtual device. So in summary, what we saw here is a new way of helping our network operators manage the physical and virtual network infrastructure, uh, physical and virtual devices running on top of an ESX server for fault performance configuration and compliance. Thank you for watching the demo of Network Node Manager. For more information, go to our webpage and download our product.